My name is Riley. I'm the co-founder of Polyspine and a passionate speaker. I'm really excited to be hosting you today for this CP Active Tech Talks event. I start by acknowledging the traditional owners of the lands on which we gather and pay our respects to elders, past, present and emerging recognizing their continued connection to these lands and waterways. And I would like to welcome all Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples here today. Today, I am joining you from the land of the Gumbanga people, and I invite you to join me by acknowledging the traditional owners of the land from wherever you are in the chat now. I would also like to acknowledge the work of disability advocates that have come before us knowing that even though there is still work to be done without their labor, we would not be in the position we are today. Now, I'd like to introduce our speakers today and also let you know a bit more about myself. I'm Riley Sagan, and you might have noticed that I am hosting today's event entirely using my text-based AAC with an eye gaze system. It's a Surface Pro with a specialized communication software program called Grid3. There are five major points that you need to know about me before we start. I click to say yes, and I can say no clearly. Yeah. I may go quiet when I am typing my answers, so there could be a little bit of silence occasionally. We all know what technology can be like, so I may also have to calibrate my eye gaze system. I will let you know if it happens. Sometimes my communication device doesn't pronounce words correctly, but it isn't my spelling. I swear. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Finally, you might see my personal assistant in and out in case my communication device or my body plays off. Oh, by the way, I am not bashing her. It's just my dystonia. Ha ha. ha. <laughs> CP. Active is all about breaking down barriers and technology helps us find the answer to a lot of them. I wouldn't be able to run today's event without the development of this technology. But actually, I wouldn't have this piece of technology if it weren't for someone coming up with the idea and creating it in the first place. And that's what today is all about. We are coming together as a CP active community for the first time to talk about what technology means for us. I really want to see technology innovation being driven by us rather than having technology be done to us. Technology is great, but what makes it really amazing is the incredible people behind it. And speaking of incredible people, I'd like to introduce our audience facilitator. Nicholas Lapsley has been currently working for the Fur in the Marketing and Communications team for about three months now, but has been a client of the CPA for about 20 years. Nicholas has completed a Bachelor of Entrepreneurship at the International College of Management, Sydney. He also produces the Accessible Travel podcast, which he would encourage you all to ever listen to and contact him if you have any interesting travel stories to tell. Nicholas always believes in giving everyone platform to speak on to like the podcast and this event we are on today. He's also a CP active champion. Hi, Riley. Thank you for introducing me. I am excited to be here. Nicholas is going to be our facilitator of all your comments and be my backup in the event of any technical issues. Now, we want to start by getting an understanding of our audience today and what technology means to you. I'd love for us all to take a moment to scan this QR code that's coming up on the screen and click the love heart so we know you're in there. There will also be a link put in the chat if that is easier for you. Nicholas, tell us a bit about the results you're seeing coming in. Nick. Uh, thank you, Ali. I'd like to start with the question. Do we really want people to come to the event with an open mind? When I bring up a discussion about technology to my colleague and friend, some people think about accessible tech, some think about assistant tech, 
stability test or universal design technology. There's so many different types of ways to think about technology, and that's what they invent it all about. Okay, now it's time to look like most people have had a chance to get the answer in. Let's bring those up on the screen now so we can all talk, take a look at it. Then we have quite a lot of different variety of ID coming up. So yeah, my phone, we now we have a lot of high tech on phone feature. Um, yeah, if we say opportunity and accessibility, yeah, they're all really good ideas. And it's really interesting to see all the different this show. We have a great variety of things here in the room. Riley, what do you have for us next? Okay, so the next question is about how it's working for you. Please open up the page you had opened before and the next question should load. If you're having any troubles, we'll post the link in the chat again now so you can try that too. The question is, how aware are you of the different types of disability tech that's available on the market for you? And we'd like you to scale of rating from one to five. One being unaware to five, being very aware. This is just to give us a feel of where everyone is at when it comes to the knowledge, access and use of technology in their lives. If you've already put your answer in, feel free to let us know in the chat what sorts of tech you're already using in a way that works for you. Nicholas, would you like to share some of the results? Hey, Riley, I would just wait for the result to come back. It's interesting to stay in. Yeah, so we're there in a bit in the middle of the style of 2.5 out of 5. So we don't know what we got out there, but not fully. So it's still in the middle. Back to you, Riley. We've also got a special guest joining us today, Peter Horsley, who is the founder of Remarkable. Remarkable is an arm of cerebral palsy alliance that is committed to developing disability tech startups that positively impact people with disability and amplify human potential. For our CP active supporters who joined us at our World CP Day event last year, you might recognize Pete already. Our event last year looked at some of the amazing ideas for technology solutions from across the world. And the idea that's chosen as the winner is then fed into an accelerated process with some of the world's best technology innovators with Remarkable. Welcome, Pete. Can you tell us a bit Hi. about Remarkable and what opportunities you see for the CP active community to be part of it? Thanks so much, Riley. It's good to be with you and good to be with everyone today. Um, so Remarkable is part of Cerebral Palsy Alliance and we're supporting startups developing new technologies that benefit people with cerebral palsy and other disabilities to get those products to market. Um, and I think ever since the beginning of Cerebral Palsy Alliance, we've had a, a kind of core value or a core approach of, of doing what seems impossible, of, of um, asking the question, why not? Why can't we? Um, and to push into unexplored territories in ways that, um, that uh, create a better way forward. So we feel like we're continuing that legacy through the work of um, what we're doing in Remarkable. And technology is a really important part of all of our lives. Um, and yet still so much of that technology is not designed to include the experiences of people with disabilities. And Remarkable hopes to change that. Um, your question also asked, Riley, what, what are the opportunities for the CP Active community to, to get involved? Um, the first thing I'd say is, get involved, like do it. Um, there's certainly been a rich history of, of technology designed um, first and foremost um, for disability and by dis people who are disabled as well. And that ends up being better technologies oftentimes for everyone. So technologies like audiobooks or podcasts, I'm sure a lot of us listen to those. Um, they were first designed for the blind community and they're now used by many of us. Um, or eye gaze technology, like the technology you're using, Riley. 
um, is now used in, in cars for safety and also in the gaming world as well. So my encouragement to the CP Active community that's here today is to start looking at the things that that um, are a little bit clunky in your world, things that don't quite work as you hope them to, um, and look for solutions that might be able to be adapted to solve that problem as well. You might not have the, the, the readily available solutions, but start to really look at those problems. Um, and then second, lend your support to those um, startups that have started to create technology that benefit you as well. And Riley, you are one of them. You're one of the co-founders of Polyspine, an amazing technology um, designed first and foremost for the CP community. Um, but um, for the CP Active community, the greatest way that, um, that people find out about new technologies is through word of mouth. And so, and so um, help spread the word, look up uh, some of the, the technologies that are on the Remarkable website and, um, and, and comment about those things, tweet about them, talk about them on social media or talk with your other friends. Um, and to do that, the um, best thing to do is to follow us on social media, um, and that will tell you opportunities to come to other events or ways to get involved. And with World CP Day competition that's running at the moment, can you tell us a bit about the types of ideas and contributions you are looking for from people with disabilities? Absolutely. So World CP Day was actually one of the reasons why we started Remarkable. Um, we had people with CP all over the world telling us challenges that they had in their world. And we sought to engage designers and engineers um, to create a one-off solution that actually um, benefited those challenges. Um, but we felt that that didn't go far enough. Uh, we wanted to see those solutions developed at scale um, for more than just the one person who expressed that problem. Uh, so Remarkable hopes to support those ideas all the way through, from beginning all the way through to kind of being available in the market for everyone. In terms of the types of ideas and contributions we're looking for, we're looking for things that um, are a challenge for you and a challenge for others um, around you. Uh, we're looking for gaps that exist um, in the market. So things that limit your life and that you find frustrating, inadequate, or maybe slow and clunky, or even too expensive. We want you to have a look for existing solutions that might be out there to solve that need, because it might just be that you haven't come across them just yet. And we saw that in the survey just earlier. Um, but we want them to have a couple of different things. We want them to have large reach. So ones that can impact a large number of people. So yes, benefiting you, but benefiting others as well. Secondly, we want them to have a significant impact that can improve people's lives, including your own. And then third, we want to have the potential that that technology can be scaled to lots of other people. Thanks, Pete. I think that's really important for us to all know. Thanks. And what great way to lead us into our next question for everyone in the room tonight. It's time to open up the civility tool again. We'll put the link again in the chat. Regardless of your ability level, we want everyone to overthink about this question right now. What area that you face that you think technology should solve? Maybe it's related to disability, maybe it's yeah. not. We just want you to give us one thing. From the audience today already has a great idea. Maria, please join me now. We are <laughs> to have you with us, Maria, and thanks for being part of our event. As I yeah. introduce Maria, I will ask everyone to please click the link for our closed captions as Maria's voice may be hard to understand and it is very important that we all hear and understand what she has to say. The link is in the chat for you now. Maria has been a cloud of cerebral palsy alliance for 65 years. She has seen a lot of changes in her life, yeah. from technology innovation to even just how people with CP are included in society. Maria lives independently with her husband, Lindsay, in their own home in Sydney. Maria, firstly, tell us a bit about how you already use technology in your everyday life. Hey, you guys. Technology is <laughs> Can 
It's absolutely incredible when we start to think about all the small people with disabilities are already innovating every single day. And what's your big idea for a new way that technology could change the lives of people with CP? Well, we can This is a great idea, and I am sure it would mean a lot to many people. Now, it's time to have a look and see what ideas everyone else has come up with. Yeah. If you would like to tell us more about the idea you had, put your virtual hand up or shout out in the chat so we can bring you up on screen. We might only have time for one or two, but we'd love to hear a bit more about some of these great ideas. In the meantime, Take us away, Nicholas. Hey, Riley, there's so many great ideas that have come through, and I think some of them are really good contenders for World DP Day. So we are definitely a few ideas through, the, through the, the survey. So we are um, a tool to allow anyone to access technology in the way that they want, yeah, that amazing idea. Then should that take the weight off feet while walking? Really good idea. And then a lot of shoes that make it quite difficult to walk in. Um, and then being able to get my bag from, from the back of my wheelchair, I, I can't twist the wheel. Yeah, I'm really good. Um, that we do if we could innovate something to improve that. And then we also thought not being understood sometimes in the conversation, not understanding less true. Yeah, so there's quite a lot of the ideas. So now I will hand it back to Riley. Thank you everyone for these great ideas. Yeah. We don't want any of these ideas to go to waste. So to finish the event, Pete, could you tell us a bit about World CP Day 2023 competition and how people can make their ideas come to life? Absolutely. Um, so entering the competition is pretty straightforward. Um, the idea um, that you can submit um, can be as simple as a problem um, that you think that technology should solve. 
just like what we've talked about today. Um, you don't actually have to come up with the exact solution to that particular problem. Um, for example, last year's um, uh, submission came from a mother, um, Rana Zazor, who um, she's the mother of a, a nonverbal child, and she felt she was always trying to guess the reason behind her daughter's cries or anger or pain. Um, and Rana came up with the idea for a piece of technology that could simulate her child's needs and help give, um, um, I guess, better guidance to caregivers as well. Um, it's a really great example of a very simple idea that could really change so many people's lives. And Maria's idea that we just heard earlier is also a perfect example of that. She didn't have to come up with the idea, but um, is expressing the, the, the problem that sits behind that. So your submission should be less than 100 words. Um, and it should have, it's better if you can have some supporting images or video or some sketches. Visuals are always really helpful for um, people to really understand what um, idea you're putting forward. Um, the ideas are going to be shortlisted uh, by the global community and voting opens for that on the 6th of October and closes on the 13th of October. So everyone gets to have a chance to have input into that as well. The great thing about it as well is that the winner um, will be announced in a live online event on the 20th of October, um, and they receive a $5,000 US cash prize. So if you do have an idea, um, it's worth taking a few minutes to submit it. I heard that last year, less than 10% of entries were from Australia. That's less than 40 ideas. Okay. I think we could make it a challenge to those of us in the room today and the wider CP active community to get this number a little higher this year. I'm getting ready for the 2024 competition and now you can too. Our tech team is putting the submission link in the chat right now and you'll also receive it in an email after the event. Maybe tonight's event has already generated the next winning idea, but we won't know unless you submit it. Thank you everyone for joining us today. It's been a really great way to come together. It's so important to center the voices of people with disabilities into the design of new and upcoming technology. Because after all, we are already the best innovators <laughs> out there. Thank you for coming and see you next time. Hey, <laughs> hey,